In this video, I'll show you how to remove links on this Spridel wristband. If you've never done this before, it's pretty tricky, pretty delicate. To pick which one I want to pull out, I want to find the weakest one. So I can see right here, it's very weak. So I'm going to remove it at this point here. With a knife, we'll flip up this little tab right here. These are like tabs that need to be flipped up like this. There we can see the tab is flipped all the way up. We'll do the same thing to the other side. Usually a knife is all you need to be able to flip that tab up. A small pair of pliers can also be pretty helpful to flatten it out. Now that we have the two tabs on the top, we'll need to get the two tabs on the bottom link. Once the bottom tabs are open, you'll disconnect the band. There are these little pins that look like staples in here. Here's a close-up of that metal pin that looks like a staple. There's one of these pins on either side, so we'll remove it. Here's a look at that other pin or staple that's on the other side, and we'll remove it as well. By lifting up these tabs, we're able to remove these little staples. Here's that staple almost completely out. You can see how small and delicate those pins I'll are. I'll give a pull and see if there's any weak springs, and I can see one right in here. I'll remove five segments right here. In the same way, we'll lift up that little tab. The tab has to be completely opened in order to get that little staple pin out. Lift up the tab on the other side. If you look at the band on the side, you can see the pins are just pushed right into here. We'll pry up the pin on the bottom so we can remove the little pins. With the bottom tab pulled up, you can see the entire pin on its side. Here's a different angle where you can see it. If I take a pair of pliers, I can pull the pin out just like this. Now the bracelet just comes right apart. With the links removed, we'll be able to take these and put them right back together like this. Now comes the real tedious part. You gotta put the pin back in on this side and the other side. Push the pin in on this side, then take the other side of the watch and put the other side of the pin in. Tweezers can be pretty handy for this. Putting this little pin in is easier said than done. It has to go onto each side, the top and the bottom hole. Make sure the pin doesn't just pop out. I can bend these tabs back down to keep the pin in. A set of small pliers can help bend the tabs down. We'll put the other staple pin in on the other side. To get these pins in, it's really small, really delicate. When you fold down the tabs, these will hold those little staple pins in place. To flatten the tabs, you can take a big pair of pliers and just very lightly massage these tabs back in. Here you can see that the tabs are pretty flat. Now the band's put back together. It flexes, it works just like it used to.